Welcome back to Let's Be at Home and Make Bad Decisions. Thank you. I'm seeing a lot of comments and I feel like I get a lot of questions about my hair. I haven't cut my hair in three years. Well, three years and three months to be exact. Two years ago, I dyed it like navy blue and cut my bangs straight across with kitchen scissors. But the last time that I had a professional cut or color my hair was December 5th, 2016. And I don't really know why I did that. I just stopped. <laughs> it's also probably one of my more extreme hair transformations, I would say, because it took three years to do it. But I, like many of you, am in quarantine. And in that amount of time, I've given Julian two haircuts. I don't think I want to cut my hair, but I literally haven't trimmed it in three years. It's starting to feel really like dry and ratty at the ends of my hair. I have been looking up YouTube videos about, you know, if I did dabble a little in cutting the ends of my hair, which is not something I've really done. Well, what are you thinking? Are you gonna do one inch, two inches, three inches? I'm just gonna oh, trim. On, five inches, six inches, seven inches. I know all of you desperately want me to cut my hair or bleach my hair. Desperately. I just, I, I'm not gonna do it. I just wanna trim it a little and see if I like it. Because I really truly feel like no matter what any hairdresser says, oh, I'm about to piss people off. The best way to grow your hair out is to stop cutting it. Damn. That's a very controversial opinion. I just wanted to remind you that even though it feels like we've been in quarantine for a very long time, but if we were in quarantine for three years and three months and you had hair similar to mine, even if it was dyed navy blue and you had straight across bangs, you know, it might grow out something like this. The worst that it's going to look like is that you just have horse people energy. You're gonna come out of quarantine looking like you're gonna throw on a flannel, let the wind blow through your hair, and you're gonna go whisper to some horse that doesn't know who you are, that may or may not even be your horse. Uh, on someone else's property. On someone else's property. That's the energy that your hair will have. I'll stand up and I'll show you the back, what it looks like before I trim it. Is it like a V in the back? What does it look like in the back? Uh... Uh, it looks like hair in the back. It looks like a W. The left of a W. Buzz it, no balls. <laughs> so the video that I feel like I would like to follow because I'm not particularly, I don't care about the style. What, why are you laughing? I just thought of someone who instead of uses Google and YouTube, they use Bing and Vimeo. <laughs> I'm all this day. <laughs> If you had really curly hair or something, you'd probably want to look up a video uh, for your hair type. But for my hair type, I watched a video by BBXO that I'm like, I could do that, A. B, I can straighten my hair and have it be dry. And I have three hair ties and some scissors. Let's fucking do this. She's She just brushes her hair all the way forward and then ties it. I'll link the video in the description. I feel like if I were to go to a hairdresser, they would see like this beautiful virgin hair, undamaged, taken care of. And then, you know, you get to like around here and here's where all of the bad decisions were made. And a hairdresser could be like, you know what we can do is just chop here and forget about the past. Whereas I'm like, I don't know, it seems like it would still like to be part of the team. So let's leave it until it falls off. You would look hot with short hair, just saying. I've had short you hair. You look, look hot with long hair. Like grow it out longer, that's hot as fuck. Or cut it, that's really hot. <laughs> <laughs> Boyfriend who's scared to say anything at all. Just don't cut it, but if you cut it, that's so hot. <laughs> Give me a minute, I'm gonna be here for a while. Also, I would just like this to serve as a gentle reminder that you can do it. If you're uncomfortable with any part of your hair, for whatever reason, you can do whatever you want to it. It's your hair. And the only person that's gonna be mad at you is whatever hairstylist has to fix it. But you know what? Fuck them. <laughs> I'm kidding. So in this video, she said, that if the ponytail is like farther in the back of your head, you know, you might end up with some shorter layers in the front. And if you want longer layers in the front, then put it really close to the front of your face like this. I don't know if I'm doing this right. I don't really care. I mean, nothing matters. Then she put one hair tie like here 
ish. I don't think there's any rules. And then a hair tie, like where you're gonna cut your hair. So since I just wanna cut the ends, I'm not gonna be cutting above this hair tie. I think I'm just gonna cut below it and then see how that looks and then maybe go from there. Does your too much gene apply to hair cutting? Oh yeah, oh So there's yeah. a chance that you can end up with short hair right now. There's always a chance. Oh no. So I do actually have legit hair cutting scissors because I own a salon. I don't know if you've heard of it. So I think I'm just gonna point cut into here. Oh. Here we go. It's my first haircut in three years. This is so convenient, the way you have it just bunched up like that. Right? Be gone, dead hair. Even though you would like to still be here, I would like for you to not. Look at that technique. Thank you, it's called point cutting. We can start a hair cutting channel. I basically already have a hair cutting channel. <laughs> it's um, my, video? my channel. First of all, that's like insanely convenient. <laughs> such not a mess, that's such a Jenna haircut. I'm a Virgo. So we just cut this to our little heart's delight. I think like if you really did want to trim off a few inches, you cut above there. Yeah, yeah, go there. I just want to trim. Plus like, I don't know, I'm a person that doesn't care about my hair, but when your hair gets this long, you do start to like become a little emotionally attached to it. You're like, aw, but it's, that's my friend. Been there, sis. <laughs> Subscribe to my OnlyFans. Only fan allowed. Hopefully this just like feels better, you know? Yeah, well it's not gonna feel worse unless you cut yourself, then then it would bleed and hurt, but. I just hope that this gives you the courage that if you are uncomfortable with any part of your hair, just cut it. Or wear a hat. <laughs> I mean, some people don't even have hair. Literally nothing matters. I don't know why you're doing that. I wanna participate. And I wish that I felt like doing a more extreme cut for you guys, but I just don't feel like it. I do think that this is a, a good way to dip your toes into the I'm cutting my hair at home lifestyle. Dip your toes into the pile of hair. <laughs> Should I, mean, I be done? And we take it out and see how it looks? You can, yeah. It already feels so good. Like I haven't felt that feeling, the like there's no dead hair at the end there for so long. We can always come back, oh. Oh. Oh, dang. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, I just took a big chunk of rib. Chunky, chunky. As someone that has horse people energy that grew their hair out for three years for absolutely no reason whatsoever, I can tell you without a shadow of a doubt that I do not care. Do you care? No. Damn, she doesn't even care. Let's do some of this. Oh, no. Now we've deviated from the video. Oh, yeah, yeah. Point cut my life away. Stab me with that point cut. I'm gonna take it out and see how it looks so far. Take her out. The problem is that once I put my hair back in this, we might, oh my God, feel that. Feel it, it feels so, no, 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 yeah. <gasps> Doesn't that feel good? That yeah, feels nice. Oh my God, I can't tell you how good that feels. Oh, I haven't had a haircut in three years. <laughs> it feels really good. Feels really nice, good. right? Oh, it feels so Think nice. Think about it this way. You could do this every two weeks like me, dude. No, 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 yeah, no. Yeah, 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 it could be your life. No, no, I will not conform. I will have horse people energy. Wait, this feels so good, wait. Oh, it looks so pretty. It feels so nice. Oh my God, look at that. All right. I'll brush it out and then we can have a look at the layers. It's, yeah. They're there. Can you see any layers? Yeah, I see layers. Let me zoom in a little bit. I definitely see layers over there. Yeah, you got that onion hair. Julian? I feel like I should cut a little more. No, it's really pretty. What's going on? Oh, we got too much jean. I'm telling you, this feels so good. It's definitely not just like grabbing some scissors and chopping your hair. Julian showed me the back and it like, it looks pretty. It's just still so dead down there because it's been three years since I cut it. I don't know, I just, I wish I could do something to the front, but I'm like, right now I'm just focusing on the bottom, which I'm already having problem focusing on because I've already done too much. Like, thank you for coming here to burp at me. I want to cut like all the way into there. Oh yeah, yeah. Cause that's Hit like, me with that too much that's shoot. the dead part. Let's chop, chop, chop away. I feel so good. Like it feels like I just conditioned it. Yeah, but this like, I feel like unlocks my true horse people energy because 
In order to have horse people energy, you not only need to like not cut your hair, but if you do cut your hair, you cut it physically, personally yourself, you know? Should I just... What? I can tell you're thinking about it. It's really hard to control myself. Does it feel good? Yeah, it feels so good. All right, I'm getting like impatient. How do people have patience for this? Me with everything ever. I know this doesn't like look like a lot of hair since I just point cut like all of it, but this is definitely at least an inch, right? Of hair that I cut off the oh, bottom. Oh, at least, probably more, probably like two inches. All right, so I don't know. I think I'm done. I'm just gonna take it out. Let's see. see. See how we looking. I'm covered in hair. <laughs> Feel it though. Feel it before I take it out of there. Mm. All right, here we go, beep beep. Oh, it already feels so much better. Oh, yes. Look at it. Oh, damn. It's actually so nice. Yeah, it looks really good. Like the front got cut a little bit. There's still like, if you're someone who is afraid of like losing length, I feel like this is such a good way to cut your hair because I physically can't tell that I even really took any hair off, but it just feels better. And it feels like light, it's nice and like, you know, if you're holding it from the side, it's not all heavy and blunt. Yeah. I really did not expect this to go this well. Do you wanna see the back? Yeah, yeah, it looks later though. Yeah, it looks bomb. Who are you fighting? It feels so much healthier and so much better I'm just, I was a little afraid, I guess, I don't, that I was gonna have to like audible and just like cut a bunch of hair off. What the fuck? Yeah, you fighting. This is the real deal. This, if you're gonna cut your hair at home and you have long hair that you could straighten or something similar to a hair type like mine, this is, this is it. This feels so good. I cannot believe this. Honestly, I, I mean, I feel like there's so many hairstyles or haircuts that you know You might just have to let grow out a little bit You don't just have like one large mass of hair to flip over and cut but if you have similar hair to mine Oh my god, I'm so glad that I did this. Are you happy? I don't know why I didn't do this earlier What have I been doing for three years? This is nice You're owning. Yeah, I mean I wasn't planning on making like an incredibly practical video, but like yeah, this is pretty practical I know this really doesn't look like I cut off so much, but a lot of it's on my pants. A lot of it's on the floor. Would you like to make a hair doll of me? No, ew, no. I don't know, man. Maybe you can't like visibly tell as much as I can tell, but this, it feels absolutely incredible. And I sort of was not expecting this to go as well as it did. And I'm kind of blown away, but this is such like a, a small thing you could do from a hair care professional like myself that I just, it feels so much better. Like I feel so much better and I'm just really glad that I did this. And I know as much as you guys would like to see me do something very extreme to my hair, I feel like this is a practical alternative to that, which is not something you expect from my channel. I know you would like to see me fuck myself up and then <laughs> suffer for months and or years. I couldn't recommend this highly enough. And I think if you start small and you do it slowly, like you saw me do two passes until I got it to a length that felt really good and comfortable, you could do as much or as little as you want. And I promise you like this, is awesome. You owned it, looks really good. People are really smart and to come up with a way like that to cut your own hair is brilliant and it feels incredible. Now I wish that I had a little more style up here but I'm not gonna do that today. Maybe someday. I don't know, 10 out of 10. If you're bored, you're looking to just trim your hair a little bit, this is it. Well, I know this wasn't the most exciting or the most extreme and you were hoping that I was gonna cut all my hair off Bitch, I'm not. But this is an incredibly, incredibly practical and easy way to cut your hair. And that's kind of what we all need right now. It's just a practical way to feel a little better about ourselves while things are pretty weird. And if you needed a trim, this is a great way to do it at home. I tried it, I tested it for y'all. I'll put it in a before and after so you can see. Well, that's it. I hope you enjoyed yourself and felt inspired to maybe give yourself a trim at home. Or if you have someone else that would like a trim, you feel inspired and confident to go cut their hair because you should. You should do whatever you want. It's your hair, you do whatever you want with it. 
This feels amazing. I'm gonna go touch my hair for the rest of the day. So I'll see you guys next week. <laughs> what? I actually am. I'm gonna go touch my hair. I can't stop now. It feels so good. Bye.